Hey guys, Master of Extreme 93 with part 2 of Leaf Grain. Now, warning, this is a hack. You cannot obviously catch a Bagon right here on this route. I'm only hacking because, well, my friend Proponiard, maybe you know him, maybe you don't. Well, I promised him, like, a name, and so he wants to be named after a dragon. His favorite Pokemon being Salamence, and so I'm going to catch a Bagon for him. I do not encourage the people use Game Sharks or whatever, or cheat codes for any Pokemon game, unless you're like Wi Fi battling and you need to use an action replay or whatever. I'm just trying to say for like a LP, I don't take these seriously, so I'll hack for a Pokemon if I have to. And we do get Bagon. Don't know really now how don't don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Bagon? 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 I, I really don't know how to pronounce the Pokemon's name. It's a female, which Mints, you're mad. Okay, it's a, it's a chick. Uh, just name it Mintzfag. Mintzfag, because that's what he is. All right, so we do get Bagon. Let's see what it is. Level three. Switch it to my front team, and it is a Brave Nature. Uh, I have no idea what Brave is. Hmm. Just, just me trying to remember natures off the top of my head. I think it might be plus defense minus speed. I might be wrong. But if it is my, a plus um, defense minus speed, then that means so far I have two Pokemon with bulky natures, which is really stupid. I mean, I prefer bulk over power most of the time in Wi-Fi, but I mean, for, for like, in games, like, you need some little, you need some power. And I apologize if, uh, the emulator's lagging still, I don't know if it is or not. When I was playing through, it looked like it was perfectly fine, but then when I played back my video, it was just lagging the whole time. And for some reason, it's not lagging now that I'm actually in the game doing post narration. Talk to, to this guy, he's just some old geezer. He's going to supposedly show you how to catch Pokemon like we did not already know how to. And uh, off camera, just ignore this part, it's, it's completely unimportant. Off camera, I caught Bagon, and I already trained it off camera a little bit to be more evenly leveled with my Bulbasaur. So yeah, he shows you how to catch a Pokemon, which is really a poor example. He didn't even inflict a status or weaken the Weedle at all. And he gives you a Tichi TV, which is another pointless item you don't really need to use unless you're completely new to Pokemon, which I doubt any of you are. Cut out that battle because mad. And now we're going to go into Viridian Forest. Viridian Forest is littered with lots of Caterpies, Weedles, Pidgeys, uh, Kakunas, Metapods, but no scary strong Pokemon. Really, the only thing you really need to be worried about in this area of the game is the uh, Weedles really just poison steaking you. Because, I mean, if you don't have antidotes, then the poison can be really, can, just can be really, you know, annoying. It can be really, it can be really a hassle. Like if you get into a trainer battle with some of the trainers here, and your Pokemon are poisoned and they already have weakened HP, then it's going to be a challenge. But you can buy antidotes at the Pokemon back in Viridian City, so just stock up and you'll be okay. And I'm sorry if my narration is just kind of, you know, stuttery. I guess you could say I don't really know what's wrong with me today. But anyways, welcome over here. You get a potion for free. It's always nice. And now we're going to have a trainer battle. This is the first actual trainer battle outside of the battle we had with Ed Furry at the very beginning. So level 6 Weedle, 
taking on my level 6 Bagon, and as you can see, when Bagon reached about level 5, I believe, it learned to bite. So it has Rage and Bite. Those are the only two moves it knows so far. Look, I got poisoned. What did I tell you? Fucking Weedles always using Poison Sting. I believe their ability being Poison Point or whatever. I mean, they're just annoying. And this poison is really going to mess me up. I'm going to stay in just so Bagon gets the experience, and then I'm going to switch. Uh, use a potion. I was going to switch, but I decided to use a potion instead. He really used the experience if he was to do this battle by himself. And I guess since I'm having so many pro so many problems just trying to pronounce the name Bagon, I might as well just call him Mitzfag. So, yeah, already kind of slow though. I mean, if the Brave Nature is minus speed, then I'm pretty slow, so the String Shot, you're, you're not doing nothing to me. Just use Bite. Also, Bite is kind of a drawback for Bagon at this point in the game, because I believe Bite is a special attack, <laughs> because... Um, attacks were not labeled whether they were physical or special just by what the attack is. They were labeled physical or special based on what type of attack it was. If it's a dark type move, it's automatically special. I'm not kidding you. We go to level 7 for Mint's Fag, which is always nice. Uh, I cut out a part where I went back to Pokemon Center because Mint's bag was like fainting from poison so I went back to Pokemon Center healed up and now ready to take on another trainer yet another Weedle we have to deal with level 7 this time hopefully I won't get poisoned this time please do not poison Thank you. Okay, good. He wasted another turn just using string shots, so this last bite should take out the Weedle. And it does. Okay, that's good. Uh, another Weedle. Hopefully, won't get poisoned. Please don't. Just. Okay, good. Wow, surprisingly I'm not getting poisoned now. And a crit! So things are going my way now, that's good. Almost level 8. Alright, last Pokemon is a Kakuna. Easy as pie. Pie is good. Do you like pie? It's the question of the day, do you like pie? Implying anybody would actually answer that in the video comments. Implying people watch this video. Implying implications. So yeah, have you people, like, actually been keeping up to date with the fuck is going on with this Nizzard BZ21 person? You may have no idea what I'm talking about, but if you do know what I'm talking about, then I'm talking to you people right now. Those who know who he is and what he's doing, isn't that just so stupid, man? He's like trolling people, and he's like, you know, just calling people just stupid crap. I mean, I I got, I got like, shown these pictures and like PMs and uh, these screenshots of what he'd been saying to some people on Skype and YouTube. It is just ridiculous. What he's saying, he's just a stupid troll. The fact that he's a YouTube partner, how do, how does somebody that pathetic of a person get YouTube partnership? Just how? Like, I'm not trying to say that he's a terrible person in real life or nothing like that. But what he's been doing on the internet lately on YouTube and Skype and Zat, I mean, seriously, he's just trolling all the time. What is his beef with people? I mean, not to mention the fact that he also cheats on YouTube, but that's a story for another day, and if he wants to cheat, then good for you. So, anyways, back to the point of 
of this video if people are watching, which I doubt people are watching because nobody watches my videos anymore. Uh, yeah, Bagon just almost got to level 9. Last Caterpie. Use Bite. Oh, and, um, update with the whole situation involving my internet cable and phone. Yada yada yada. Um, don't know when it's going to be turned back on. I mean, I just still don't really know. Uh, but I'll tell y'all when it's back on. I mean, you'll you'll probably notice if it's back on if I'm like online <laughs> a lot compared to the amount of time I've been online for like the past three or four days, which has been like maybe four hours at the very most per day. Once I get back online, like ten or twelve hours a day, then you'll probably notice that it's fixed. I mean, I'll even tell y'all when it's fixed. I'm just saying it's not fixed yet. Uh, might as well give somebody a shout out in this video while I'm at it. Don't know. Don't really know who to give a shout out to. I don't know why I want to give somebody a shout out in this video. I guess I'm running out of narration. I guess I need mean, like fill in the void of something to say for the last five minutes of this video because it's been kind of boring, just like a lot of battles. Uh, shout out to oh I got a good idea. Um, one of my friends, the Munching Panda. He just like you know. Uh, made a new account because his old account, for whatever reason, he ditched it. I think it's because he said like he wanted real subscribers, which I can't totally understand what he's talking about. He doesn't want to have fake subscribers or people who subscribe and then don't watch his videos. I completely understand what what he's saying and where he's coming from because I kind of feel like I have the same problem too. I have like 2.7k something subs and I don't ever feel like I get half of those subs watching my videos. So I definitely know what you're talking about, dude. Long story short, he made a new account. I believe it's called DJ Panda TV. I believe that's what it's called. I will link you to his channel in the video description and telling you in this video right now for anybody who's listening, subscribe to him, man, and don't don't subscribe to him and then don't watch his videos because he's got some good videos. He's a really good friend of mine. He's really nice. Subscribe and watch his videos and be a real fan of this dude because he's pretty good. Okay. He's got good videos, man. You will not you will not be disappointed. Go subscribe to him right now. And I will link you to his channel in the video description. Alright, almost out of Runian Forest, just a few more yards to go. Cut out that battle because gay gay like Luigi. Alright, pick a potion. And we got only one more trainer battle left in this forest, and we'll be out of here. I remember doing an LP of yellow, I believe. Um, yeah, doing my LP on yellow and I nicknamed my Pikachu after Sam. Whatever happened to Sam? Um, Sam was like one of my friends on Skype and YouTube. His YouTube account was actually Sammy Sosa TV, I believe. Like, what happened to that dude? It's like he just disappeared. I haven't talked to him like in months. In months. I have no idea where he went. I haven't seen him on online on Skype in ages. And, well, Mint's Fag grows to level 10. That's cool. Salmon was like my epic Pikachu. Now he's like, <laughs> never online anymore. What the fuck? That's messed up. He was one of my good friends, so it really hurts to see him, like, never get online anymore. But, I... I, I guess maybe real life cop with him or something. I, I really don't know what happened to him, but... If you're watching this... Just like, come back, dude. I miss, like, the Skype calls we would have. Well, now we're in Pewter City, healing up at the Pokemon Center. Nothing else much left to do in this video. Especially since I still do not have 15 plus minutes enabled on my main channel, which is always a bummer. But I hope it gets fixed soon if my strikes get removed. So, for now, 
This is Marks signing out, and I guess I will see you guys later.